We are in Reading at what seems to be the crown jewel of Reading, the Sundial Bridge. I am with Dave Vogel and you are a senior fishery scientist. This bridge actually impacts salmon and that, that seems a little crazy, but as a scientist, tell us how this bridge is impacting salmon. Well, it's based on some studies that were done in the state of Oregon and they found out that bright lights on bridges uh, would adversely impact juvenile salmon. Salmon uh, migrate to the ocean under the cover of darkness, and unfortunately when they pass under bridges with bright lights, it makes them highly prone to be preyed on by predatory fish such as rainbow trout, like we have here in Reading. So although this bridge is wonderful and obviously attracts a lot of attention and tourists and people, they are doing some things to actually help the salmon out. So what are they doing here, Dave? Well, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife met with the city of Reading officials. They discussed the problem for salmon with the bright lights. There are 218 bright lights on this bridge. The city of Reading, at its own expense, changed the lights and put in LED lights. And that offers the opportunity to dim the lights, change the color, change the wavelength. And they're working with uh, biologists right now to try to figure out the right balance of lighting conditions and still benefit salmon. This is not the only bridge in Reading. Are other bridges going to take the same approach with lights? Well, this is the first of many bridges. We're hoping to use this bridge and the solution as a model for many of the other bridges in the Sacramento River. There's also uh, large water diversions that have bright, uh, bright lights on at night. And so we think there's opportunities to either dim the lights, turn the lights off, instead of having the lights shine down in the river at night, have the lights shine up. So we think there's a lot of options there. Okay, and finally, um, in the big picture, why is it important to protect salmon in this way? Well, the salmon, as they migrate to the ocean, uh, have over 300 miles of the migratory corridor between the Redding and San Francisco Bay. They undergo many hazards, predation, unscreened water diversions, and so we need to get those fish safe, safely out to the ocean where their survival is quite high. And then uh, they're very important for the recreational and ocean commercial fishery. And then of course those fish are uh, primarily important because they'll come back and spawn and propagate future generations of salmon.